I'm Malia Coates, and this is your UT10 Sports Report. Toledo had a beautiful yet busy weekend. The women's tennis team took on the Ball State Cardinals, while the Toledo Wildlife played an exciting game against the Indy Fuel. But first, the men's tennis team was in search of their first win in conference play when they hosted the Ball State Cardinals on Friday. The Rockets got off to a slow start as they dropped first and second doubles, falling behind 1-0. UT senior Stefan Shishko was relentless in first singles as he defeated Lucas Anderson in straight sets. The Rockets will also take third and fifth singles, but will fall short in second and fourth, tying the match at three apiece. The pressure was on freshman Thon Sutsuporn, and he would deliver in six singles to break the tie and win the match for the Rockets. After the victory, UT head coach Al Warmer said he was pleased with his team's attitude. I think the support from the guys off the court and uh, even the mutual support on the court was, was amazing. You know, they were very hungry and uh, wanted to avenge the loss. We had we lost 6-1 to these guys like two weeks ago. The Rockets' next match will be on the road this Saturday at Binghampton. And the Toledo Walleye took the ice on Saturday night against the Indy Fuel. And it was a record-breaking night for Toledo's Dane Walters. He scores not one, not two. Not three, not even four, but five goals for the Walleye, a career-high night for the Minnesota Native. The Walleye will win and capture their record-breaking seventh shutout of the year. They will take their number one overall seat into the ECHL playoffs beginning this Friday night against Kalamazoo Wings. Closing out the weekend, the women took on Ball State, hoping to end their five-match losing streak. Despite a strong effort by the freshman duo of Didi Lena Bachong and Mimi Kendall Woosley, the Rockets will lose the double points. Lena Bachong will stay competitive in fourth singles, winning in three sets. UT would manage another victory in singles play, but would end up falling by a score of 5-2, to two, extending their losing streak. After a tough loss, UT head coach Tracy Muller shared her disappointment. We've had some really close matches in the MAC, and, we, and we've unfortunately um, lost them all, and that's frustrating. And I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, this loss, it comes down to experience. The women will take the court next Saturday at home against Eastern Michigan. Thanks, Aaliyah. It must yeah. have been some really nice weather out there this weekend for oh, sports. It was great. Perfect. Well, I hope we have a really nice and warm Easter. Oh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs>